Hello, my name is Brian Cooper, and I'm here to speak about the materials management function within an organization. Why materials management is needed, and then what entails actual uh, materials management. Materials management brings together many different functions within an organization. Uh, many people often relate materials management to just straight uh, warehousing. But it encompasses other, other areas within the organization as supplier management, procurement, planning, uh, on the planning side, supply planning and demand planning are both very important. Because if you don't have a surety of supply coming in or a surety of what the demand is that's going out, neither one of them will match and ultimately you end up with either not enough uh, material to, to support the demand for the company, which could lead to gaps in, in supply, or you end up with too much material, uh, which leaves the, the company potentially exposed to slow moving inventory, excess inventory, uh, leads quite a bit of cash tied up um, where the cash could be better utilized uh, within an organization, uh, whether that's either new additions within a company, pursuing top talent, keeping current talent, um, to better developing a business. Uh, all that's tied around inventory. Uh, I, I kind of relate an inventory similar to, to how you would treat your bank account and stuff that you buy. Um, you're not going to sink all your cash into something that's just going to sit on the shelf in your pantry or sit in your refrigerator or sit in your freezer and not ever get used. Uh, because then that's cash so you can't spend either paying other bills, going and buying something new, maybe you want a new house, uh, going and doing something nice with your family because you've sunk that, that cash into uh, something that's technically you're not using all the time. So within materials management, uh, like I said earlier, there's, there's many different pieces that go into it. Procurement, planning, uh, systems. Want to make sure that there's there's proper system management, uh, and when I say system management, lead times, inventory accuracy, uh, transactional accuracy. This all helps with making sure the flow of material goes in through the planning system, MRP system, into the warehouse system, uh, where that material can be housed for a short period of time, transacted, and uh, then be sent out to be able to support whatever type of functions uh, that the company needs, either distribution, if it's something like a grocery type distribution, or kind of the business I'm in, uh, more oil field related, end up uh, supporting equipment that uh, gets ran out in the field, which ultimately ends up supporting revenue for the company. Uh, many times that can be very uh, not cost efficient if if we're not having the right uh, right material sitting at the right place at the right time. Uh, planning systems, there's many different types of systems that could be used, either homegrown systems, uh, SAP, Oracle. Those are different ERP, MRP type systems. Uh, all that just is basic standard systems that uh, you build, try to build your processes around. So. From a materials management standpoint, uh, we try to look at processes, workflows, uh, make sure that there's different uh, handoff points within these different workflows. And that way, as it comes from one group to the next group, uh, whether it's a system handoff or actual physical handoff, everybody knows what they need to do with their next task uh, for the next step. Otherwise, there's potential to be uh, missteps, inaccuracy, uh, stoppage within the whole materials supply chain standpoint, uh, when the whole goal is to make sure that the handoffs are, are very, uh, very accurate, very visible, and everybody knows what their, their particular uh, part within the organization is. So processes are often built within the materials organization. Uh, from there, they need to be well-defined, posted, and again, key handoffs. Uh, try to go back in and eliminate waste and make sure that uh, anything that is redundant type actions are being 
pulled out of those processes and put in, in the right place, cleaned up if needed to be, eliminated if need to be, uh, possibly different type of controls need to be put in place. In that way, it eliminates a lot of this waste. So from my side, uh, a lot of what I do is on the warehousing piece, uh, trying to make sure that the warehouses operate in a particular fashion that's able to support the planning side and the operational side. Many cases, we've gone into new warehouses trying to get them cleaned up and transactions are not accurate, uh, processes are not uh, developed, posted, people are not properly trained on that. And it leads to a lot of inventory shortages and a lot of in, inaccurate, um, inaccurate type material, uh, which leads into either overbuying or underbuying. A lot of expedites, a lot of waste of time. So, from the standpoint of the warehousing side, we try to go and clean it up, do proper labeling, uh, proper locations, uh, try to make sure that the proper counts are done. Everybody knows their role within the uh, in, within the organization. And that way we we can operate like a well-oiled machine instead of everybody's running around like ants trying to uh, accomplish everything all at one time. Uh, the goal is, is is that we work as a team. Everybody knows they're, they're part of the team and it operates much more smoothly. So <clears throat> from a material standpoint, uh, just kind of rehash some of the conversation again is, is to try to pull different functions within an organization together, supply side, inventory management side, demand side, and make all this work and be a collaborative effort uh, to be able to uh, get the right information out. Again, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Hello, my name is Brian.